All right, now we're gluing down the uh, top of the um, deck using some weights. And as you can see now, I've just cut a piece of balsa, which is now the right height. I've screwed in this piece of perspex from the base of the hull, of, of the sail, and I've got one uh, on the other side that represents the top of the hull. And now just using the sander uh, on the balsa, it's so, so easy to do this. All you can see is my hair here is uh, the process of just sanding this down so that in fact um, I'm not cutting into the um, perspex. Uh, it's a very satisfying process to do something like this because in a very short time you have um, the shape of the sail. The trick with this of course was to make sure when I added the perspex to the top and the bottom they were perfectly lined up. Um, so that when I ground this down, the shape that I'm finished with is the right shape. And there it is. This is the first time I've had the sail, um, or a shape, something like the sail, um, in place. And that, that's what the boat looks like, and it's very, very nice. Don't you think? It's just a great, great shape. Now, I'm not going to use a balsa sail. This is just a plug. And I've joined a couple of pieces of paper here together because I want to get the outline so that I can begin to develop, um, the, build the sail out of aluminium flashing. So I'm marking this, I'm, I'm pulling this around and making it nice and tight, getting it on the shape. It's, it's slightly narrower at the top than it is um, at the bottom. And I want all of this... Um, nice and tight on the top and the bottom and then just by using my fingers I can press the paper and basically I've, I'll have when I finish this exactly the shape of of the sail and here it goes I'm just wrapping it round best to secure one end before you start this process and get it in the right place So I'm just wrapping this around to get the shape and I'm going to transfer that in a moment to some flashing and I think that's pretty good. So here's my aluminium flashing and I've got this lovely bit of metal here that I use, this metal bar. This is my rolling pin. Gets rid of a multitude of sins. Now this flashing is not very thick um, and you might think it's going to be too light which I would agree with you about but in fact I'm going to use some techniques to make sure that it's stronger. Now that's the first try and it's pretty good. It needs a bit of trimming but in fact it's right on the money and of course it looks metallic. Now I've used a knife to cut the um, the windows in here had to be very careful doing this because um, it's um, because aluminium flashing sort of grabs onto the knife so you tend to do it by just digging it in without pulling it but what I'm doing now is just making another piece of flashing which is going to go on the inside of this but obviously I don't want the windows to be covered up and sanding the inside of one, sanding the outside of another, and I'm going to put this whole thing together with some epoxy. So this is now the inner shell. Just, I really want to get this as tight um, onto the hull as I can. I'm just smoothing it out a little bit, as you can see, trimming it a little bit. There's, there's a few adjustments. I've got. To, I want that end to be really nice. Now this tape is going to become a permanent part of the of the um, 
conning tower of the sail. And now comes the second piece around. This is quite tricky. I really want to make sure I've got the um, the closure here at the end, and it does close very, very nicely. The windows have got to be nicely positioned. And that's all okay. In fact, uh, I think I'm on a winner here. I'm pretty happy with how this is looking. So now I have put five minute epoxy on the inside of the whole thing. You have to make sure your hands are clean as you do this. And I'm now epoxying the outer layer to the inner layer. The good thing about aluminium flashing is that it holds its shape. So once you've got it right, you can replace it again and it's, it's pretty good. So I've got that all in place. I really want to make sure that end piece is right. And now at a later date, you can see the whole thing and it's really looking pretty darn good. It's quite strong um, and it's, um, it's turning out very nicely.